Welcome. In this video, you will see me make this wireless charging pad for my brother's 17th birthday. Let's just delve right in. I started by printing out an oversized guitar pick and gluing it to a piece of wood in order to cut it out on the scroll saw. Why a guitar pick, you might ask? Because the recipient of this gift, Kelvin, is big into playing guitar, so it was only appropriate to give him a guitar-themed phone charging stand for his birthday. One thing that I have learned from videotaping me making things is that I sing and hum far more than I was aware of while in the workshop. I found a piece of maple that had some interesting curl and figure in the grain and I used this to cut out a mini guitar to implement as an inlay in this guitar pick. Enjoy this cinematic shot of my arm as I trace out the inlay. This is my third project that incorporates freehand router inlay. The first thing I made was a wooden sign. I made a video out of that. It will be linked down below. Second thing I made was a box that had an inlay of Sherlock Holmes in it for my friend Holmes. And here we are with my third project. A guitar pick with a guitar inside it. Interesting how the tides have turned. Usually a guitar pick would go inside of a guitar. But no, I'm putting a guitar inside of a guitar pick. Here I am attaching the guitar pick to the workbench with blue tape and some super glue. I would have preferred to use double sided tape just because I find double sided tape to be a very enjoyable thing. But I didn't have any double sided tape available to me at this time, so I just used painter's tape and super glue. I wish to apologize for the terrible camera angles in these next few shots. I found it difficult to film what was actually going on without the camera getting in the way of what I was seeing. However, this next shot I made intentionally obscure, because at this point it's become a tradition to write in a secret message in any router-based inlay project I do. I did it on the wooden sign, I did it on the box for Holmes, so it was only appropriate that I do it here. So that's what you see me doing right now, I'm writing in a secret message that will be covered up and vanquished for all eternity and only I will know what it says. After I had written the message and taken a picture of it and saved it to my phone, hidden away in a secret place, I could spread glue around inside of the recess, insert the guitar, and then hit it with a mattress a bunch of times to make sure it went all the way in. Then, with great rejoicing, I could cut off the part that still protruded after the glue had dried. I then utilized the sander to make it smooth and even to the touch, like my skin. And while we're on the topic of skin, here is a quote from Joanna Krupa. No matter what shape or size you are, you should feel confident in your own skin. You should feel like a beautiful woman, no matter what. I don't think I've ever felt like a beautiful woman. Here I'm using super glue to fill in any gaps that are left over from inserting the inlay. I'm really in the mood for some more skin quotes right now, so here's another great one. This one's from Brandy Rhodes. I am a believer in caring for your skin, inside and out. A good way to do this is through vitamins. That's Brandy Rhodes. Update on what's going on in the video. I traced out the size of the wireless charger I was going to use on the back of the guitar pick and then I taped it to the bench once again and prepared to route out the back so that I could insert the wireless charger inside of there. Hopefully that made sense because I'm not going to re-record it. I'm going right back to the skin quotes. This one's from Jessica Jung. I think a perfect color scarf really brings out your whole skin tone lip color, and everything else. Routing out all the material in order to put in the wireless charging pad was taking a ridiculous amount of time, so I decided to go over to the drill press 
and get rid of most of the material that way. This proved to be a very honorable method, and I saved a whole lot of time by doing this. Another example of work harder, not smarter. Here comes another skin quote. This one's from Emily Wise. Your skin is like a plant. You have to water it. Make sure it's hydrated, not just squeaky clean. Sometimes while I'm making things and taking a video of it, I try to be extra fancy and use tools that I don't usually use just to show what a cool woodworker I am. A lovely example of this is right here. I tried to be fancy and use a chisel to cut everything out. Did not end well. <laughs> nice. What happened there is the vibration from my dedication to hammer utilization ended up knocking the router off of the table. Much devastation. Enjoy a couple more examples of me doing stupid things in the shop. Whoa! Ah! <laughs> How stupid! <laughs> Mm. Wow. Okay. Wow. This is a convoluted mess. It has been said that you learn from your past experiences. Well, sometimes you don't. Oh, that's pretty sick. Oh! Again? Ah! Oh, dude. That is stupid. I continued to route deeper and deeper until I was very near to breaking through, and then I made sure it was wide enough and test fit it. Enjoy my wild enthusiasm. Yeah, you beaut! You beaut! Ha! <laughs> the heck is going on? Mm, fool. Ow! Mm -mm. Whoa. After testing it and making sure everything fit properly, I drilled a hole so that a cable could run through in order for the thing to charge. I then tested it out yet again and made various adjustments as necessary. With all that sorted, I could work on a backer piece that would hold the charging pad in place underneath the guitar pick. For the backer piece, I used a piece of one quarter inch plywood that I had just kind of kicking around. I traced out a circular circle on it and cut it out oversize on the scroll saw. The reason I cut it out oversize is because I wanted it to be a very snug fit and then I could just use the sander and sand it down so that it fit very snugly. That is what you see me doing here. It ended up being a very tight fit. So tight, in fact, that I got it stuck by mistake. Oh, shoot. Ha! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, dear. This is not good. Oh. In order to avoid that problem in the future, I drilled a hole that one could insert their finger into to pull it out. And, classic Ryan, didn't do a very good job of filming it, so you really just got a video of my hand. I then added a round over to the edge of the guitar pick. I then ran several various experiments and tests, just to make sure this thing would hold a phone. It held it. After all the tests had been successfully run, it was time for some final sanding, followed by the application of a finish. If you have made it this far into the video, I heartily applaud your attention span. And if you have found yourself enjoying this video, I would encourage you to consider administering a subscription, as I have committed myself to posting a new video every Wednesday at 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. 
Only subscribe if you actually want to and are intrigued by my content. Otherwise, you may leave! It was now time to put it together one last time. I inserted the wire through the hole that I had drilled for it previously, plugged in the wireless charger into the wire, and set it inside of the recess. Then I could take some old used tissues and stuff it inside in order to create a filler between the charger and the backer pad. Then it was time to insert the backer pad and test this thing out to see if it would actually work. I gently placed the phone on top of the charger, had a moment of terror when nothing happened, and then behold! Go wild. Well there is the project complete, and it actually worked. I'm quite pleased with this project, and I believe my brother was pleased with it as well. Thanks for watching and have a lovely rest of your day.